What's going on guys? Welcome back. Another farm sim episode coming at you. We get the field ready to go. Now I'm going to give you guys a little heads up here because I'm probably going to be skipping around a lot in this episode or maybe the next couple episodes because, well, don't have a whole lot of money. Don't have anything else to do except for contracts. So I might do a handful of those, but mainly I want to get ahead a little bit. And starting out like this, it is a little grindy. Many of you guys will probably already know that and agree. Others will be like, oh no, well, we did something different and now I'm a million dollars and this and that. Okay, fine. Everyone plays differently. So, you know, obviously the way I started out here, maybe not the best way to start out, but is what it is. So, I'm here in this position. Gotta grind it out a little bit. So, yeah, we'll put some equipment to work in the missions, but... For now, I just gotta grind things out until I can get some cash. Maybe another field. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Maybe another field and, you know, go from there. Also, I'm kind of not wanting to talk too much because I get the feeling I have a cold coming on. I can feel it in the back of my throat. And, yeah, not really looking forward to that. Everyone I know has had a cold already. Or, uh, you know, some kind of flu bug. Um, one of the people at work had that inf influenza bug, which is what you're supposed to get your, the shot for every year. And, yeah, he had it and was on antibiotics and everything else and whatever. And, yeah, I've been lucky enough to miss a lot of it. So... We'll see if that's what I'm dealing with here, or uh, if it's just a regular cold, I don't know. But it came on Saturday, and it's still here today. It's, it's that feeling you have when you have that big loogie in the back of your throat, and it hasn't quite left your nasal passage, but it's not far enough into the throat to get cleared out. So... I'm hoping that's just what it is, and there's nothing else to it. Oh! I forgot to update the map, too. The map has another update to it. It wasn't uh, anything major. Uh, it's basically a fix uh, for the, the corn. Uh, some people were with lower-end PCs have had issues with corn, and I guess it was just wrecking their, their FPS. So, corn has been updated for those of you who have had that issue. Uh... I did not do it here yet, but I will get the map update eventually. Uh, no new save game is needed, so you can just swap out the files and you're all done. But, alright, I'm going to skip ahead quite a bit. I think when we come back, we'll probably be seeding because nothing else needs to get done on this map. And then we'll go from there and see what else we can get into. So we'll be right back. Oh my god, that took forever. <laughs> That took forever. We're talking hour and a half at least just to harvest this field with this combine. Now, I've been selling everything off as soon as I get it because over at Gavilon, it's still over 2,000 a liter. It's been dropping, so that's why I haven't sped up time. It's still at one. It's been dropping, so I've been trying to get in as much as I can, and it just fell below 2,100, so this is the last load. That is heading over there. So I went from 28, 27,000 to 133. This will bump me up over 150. Now I'm thinking about selling off some items as well. I don't need the truck. I don't need the log trailer. I don't need the subsoiler. So all that stuff's going to go. And the subsoiler is probably going to net me the most. That's 57 to 60 thousand dollars right there for that. So trying to get some money back. Am I going to be able to buy a field? Unfortunately, no. That is not going to be an option. Um, I'd love to, but I, I just don't see it. <clears throat> there are some okay priced fields, but yeah. Uh, just not enough money to do it. And unfortunately, with no... I mean, I could go and buy a logging field. A logging plot. Um... And then once again, just go back to... But if I end up selling off the truck and the trailer, that kind of makes it, you know, pointless, you know? 
kind of makes it pointless. I did no contracts during this time, and I was thinking about doing that as well. Since I've got the multiple contracts mod, if I pull out multiple contracts, then that would allow me to go ahead and just have multiple people fertilizing or harvesting, and I can bounce back and forth between all of them to get the job done. Hired help is going to cut into that pretty bad, though depending on what the contract is. So we're gonna have to take a look at that here and I'll do that in a moment once I get done taking care of everything here, selling what I need to sell and uh, moving stuff around. Unfortunately, I wish I had another tractor because then I could do liquid spray as well as the dry over there at the same time. So not an option yet. Maybe when I get over $300,000 again, I can do that. But I think when I get over $300,000 again, it's going to be buying a field if I haven't done so already. Or upgrading this combine to something that's bigger. That is... It's a toss-up. I really haven't quite decided what I want to do. A bigger combine is going to allow me to get this field here harvested faster. You know, the turnaround. That's the key. How fast can you turn things around and replant and then get back to working on other things you know the faster turnaround you have the faster you're going to be able to get to harvesting again the next time around or being able to go and work on other things um yeah it's a toss-up man it really is i could cut that grass right there get myself some baling equipment and cut that little bit of grass is it going to really help Probably not. In the long run, yeah, I don't know. Uh, going for the silage, I don't think that little field there is really going to make that bit of a difference. I don't think so. It's not really a field, it's just a yard, but still. So what about you guys? What, do you, what do you guys focus on? Do you focus on equipment or do you focus on fields? And then just go along as you do. I mean, there's a couple different ways to look at it. A couple different ways to work things out. I'm on the fence. I could go either way. I really could. I think I've made valid arguments and points for both sides. Going for more fields gives me more yield, more crop that is, which in turn leads to more more profit. Um, but bigger equipment, faster equipment, gets me a faster turnaround, which will put me back on crop sooner and in the store sooner as well. So. It's, it's, at once, at some point, they will equal themselves out, but which one's going to get you there faster? So right now, they are buying at $2,081. $183, boys. $50,000 payouts. Oh, yeah. I like those payouts. Me likey.
183. Hmm. All right, well, let me skip forward again one more time. I'll meet you guys back at the shop. I'll have the subsoiler over there as well as the truck and trailer. We'll get ready to sell all that off. So be right back. All right, here we are back at the shop here. We're going to start selling off some stuff. First up, get rid of this thing. Value is 69000 Now, here it is in the garage. Where is it? It's right here. 57000 So, yeah. Take it to the shop, guys. Get your money. Get paid. Do you really want to sell? Yes. 69400 Yes, sir. Drop that trailer. 23000 Yes. Now this one was showing me 21000 in the garage. 25000 Isn't that more than the one I bought it for? No. Um, yeah. <laughs> the value went up. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. The value went up on the truck. So, one other thing I ran into here problem-wise. We're at $298,000. Um... I need a cultivator because the cedar I have does not cultivate as it goes. So, yeah, I need one of those. Uh, let's see, what do we want to go with? 12, 16, hmm, hmm. I don't think I've seen any good cultivator mods out there. So, at least the disc ones. Let's take a look at regular cultivators. Here we go. Now we get in some big guys. Don't think I have the horsepower for this flexi coil. Don't think so. 24 meter work with that would just go right through that. What's in my garage? What what's the tractor? 420 horsepower. Okay. I could upgrade that. What options? Can I can I go higher? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, 420 is the biggest I can go. Oh, here's a new cat that I picked up, too. New cat mod. It's the old school... It was an FS-17. So, here it is now in this one. Only one engine choice, so 325 horsepower. Much cheaper, though. If you guys want to go tracked, and this is definitely an option for me, I think. Uh, if you guys want to go tracked, there you go, $131,000. No options for it. Pretty plain Jane, no bells and whistles, none of that fancy stuff going on there. So that one definitely is a possibility of what I might pick up because, I mean, could I trade off this John Deere now? Uh, Yeah, it'll haul the Great Plains. Yeah, I actually could trade off the John Deere, get some cash, turn around, buy that cat, and be happy. It's got the power. Now the only thing is, like I said, I need a cultivator. And that's almost 400 horsepower right there. Can't haul this one, the 12 meter. Can't haul this one, the 8 meter. So what about these? 400 horsepower, it could do it. I'm going to try it. We're going to try it, boys. We're going to go for it and see what happens. So, we're going to pick this guy up. Buy it. And... Tractors. I mean, having a second one is nice. I will admit that. Having a second one is nice. I think this one is modeled after a mid-90s John Deere, or a, a cat. I'm not too familiar with uh, caterpillars. Alright, 
So while I drive this back to the shop, do I want to sell off that John Deere? It would probably put me close to three hundred thousand dollars. But having a second tractor is what I could really use right now. That's a tough one, guys. I can't decide. I can't decide. Beacons work. We'll see how the lighting does at night, but it doesn't really look like it's lighting up like a Christmas tree, you know? But everything works. I saw a video on this. I forget the monitor's name. Uh, I will try to remember to link it down in the description for you guys if you want to check it out yourselves. But... The guy looks like, you know, he wanted to make sure it got done right. So no half-ass stuff here. Uh, there will be updates coming to this thing. He says he wants to work on the interior a little bit. Um, you know, get a couple things updated and uh, cleaned up. So, But in all, it is a working mod. I believe no errors. He brought the sounds over uh, from from 19 if I remember or from 17 if I remember right so nice tracked heavy duty workhorse kind of tractor here for uh, under 150 131,000 I think he was talking about bringing in other engine options so I'm not too sure I, have to, I would have to go back and watch the video I watched it last week Looks good. Looks good. Now over here is the cedar. I was getting ready to seed and I actually started, but it wasn't putting down any seed. And oh wait, I gotta cultivate first. Minor detail. I'm not really liking that uh, Great Plains Cedar. Um, it makes the whole tractor feel like it's skatey because of the tires that are in the front there. They're riding on those tires all the time. So it feels like it's lifting up the rear end of the tractor. So we'll hire that helper there, let him get to work. Excellent. Let's see if we can get a good photo here. Oh, uh, let's see. Looking for a good photo. Looking for a good photo here. That might work. That might work. There. Turn that back on, turn that back on. There we go. Alright, I will go back over here. I'm going to keep this for now. I'm going to keep it for now. If I need be, I will. If I need to, I will sell it. But for now, I will keep it. Let's get this other field seated. And... I'm probably going to work on some contracts and send these guys both out, do some fertilizing contracts and try to bring in a little extra cash while I wait for this another round of soybean to get ready. There is the possibility, I, I, and I'm just thinking about this now, if I were to sell this thing as well as the harvester and the header, I could definitely have enough money to get a bigger harvester. That's another thing that's creeping in my head here. Because I'd really like to get rid of this uh, Massey. It's just too small, in my opinion, for, for what we have here. Um, 
only 8,000 or 8,500 on the capacity. So if I can get 100 or 230 for this one, and in the garage or in the store, it said it's 140 on the combine. So that'll probably be about 150. That's $380,000 alone right there. Not bad. With the money I currently have as well, I mean, I should have, and it'll probably put me back at broke. It will probably put me right back at zero by buying a new combine and, and a new header. So I have to keep that in mind as well. Because I gotta, I gotta have enough money left over. Why, why am I going this way? I gotta have enough money left over to have to be able to buy seed, so I can put the next crop in. Hmm. Hmm. So tempting. So, so, so tempting. He's got two rows done, so let's get this guy fired up. Wow, he's making a big turn. That is a big wide turn he's making. Oops, he took out part of the field. I don't want him to go so fast that he's catching up with the other guy. And since I can't see speed... We'll keep him at eight miles an hour. And I should keep him out in front. Now I'd ask what you guys think, what I should do for the comments, but chances are I'm gonna record another episode almost right after this one, so yeah. You guys can comment away, but the video is already done. <laughs> so a little, little too late. I guess you guys will have to wait and see what I decide to do in the next episode. We're going to be good? Yeah, I think we're going to be good here. Since this is a wider work width than that cultivator as well, that was another concern that I had, that he was going to be taking up more workspace, but that's another reason why I want to keep him either at the same speed or slightly slower. That will keep that cultivator out there. That way, when he makes his turn to come back down, it's all cultivated. So, Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Maybe a little short, I don't know, uh, jumping back and forth between video and everything, so um, apologize if it is. I've been trying to keep these in, in the 30 to 40 minute range, not the hour like I was doing for, uh, for 17, so hopefully I can do that. Next time we come back, 
Uh, this might be ready. Um, probably won't be, though, but I'll be working on tasks uh, or doing some contracts, I think. Probably going to focus on doing a lot of the fertilizing. Uh, since I can now, I, I since I have two tractors, I can hook up the liquid, I can hook up the dry, load them up, send them off to a field, make an easy ten to twenty thousand or whatever it's going to pay out, and be done with it. Do that multiple times, and just have to worry about the hiring help, and that's it. And that's going to eat into it. So we're going to take a look at that and see just how bad it's going to be. Um, and then hopefully this will be ready to harvest as well. I will try to make my decision on what I'm going to do. Am I going to sell off this one? and the combine and get a bigger one because like i said let's see let's take a quick look here Two hundred and twenty thousand, and that is going down the more i use it uh that will probably be 230 to 240 at the shop One hundred and thirty-three thousand. so that'll probably be around 140 at the shop uh here's 32.5 so that'll be probably 35 and we'll sell this thing off too no big deal so let I me mean, just doing quick math in my head even if I go with, with these prices, so two twenty, two thirty that's what, three thirty or three fifty three? Add in this one, that's easily what uh uh three eighty five? Now I'm just off the top of my head, I'm gonna round them. So two twenty and one thirty, that's gonna be three fifty. Three eighty. So three eighty five? doesn't sound outside the realm of possibility here and that's right here in the store it's going to be more if i take it or you know if i do it through here if i take it back to the shop as you guys saw i get more money so what does it allow me to get i can get an s700 series that's definitely a possibility uh let's see what would it be here yeah, we'll go with the duels i guess I don't want any numbers on it. 780, 790. The only difference is horsepower. That's it. So yeah, 14,100 on the capacity. 388 is what I'm looking at. And I could very well have that amount of money. And let's check the headers. 89,000, 89,000. I'd probably end up going with one of these because they do have the fold out wheels. That way I don't have to worry about a cart. But. Speaking of carts, got a new one. Where is it? I activated it. Where's it at? Uh oh. I didn't save it apparently. I do have a new um, header cart, but it's not showing up here. So, not Q. I'll have to take a look at that. But there is a new header cart. It is just as big as these, but uh, it has a tandem rear axles on it. So. It'd be pretty cool. Hopefully I get that working for the next one. So we'll see what I decide to do. Lots of options here, guys. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. If you didn't, do the opposite. Don't forget to get subscribed here on YouTube. And also hit the links down below for the mods list. Many of what I, Much of what I use here is found on that list. That is also on the server. Uh, also links to Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. So like, follow, subscribe. You join in the conversation. You guys know what to do. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Take it easy.